So now let's work on creating a separate component for this code which we have for the ingredients. So in order to do that, I'll go inside components, create a new file. Let's call this as item list.jsx component. So export default function item list and let's make this thing return a div. And over here, I simply have to take this code which I have so after the ingredients, I have to take this, cut this from here and paste it right inside this div. All right. So now we know that this is actually powered up by this food object, which we have, but we do not have access to that food object here. So that means we have to pass that food object from the food details to the item list. So here, first of all, let's use the item list component. So item list, that's automatically going to import that for us and let's pass in food as prop to it. So this is quite simple. Now I just have to go ahead and fetch that food here. So I could say food and that's it. Now if I go back to the browser here, now as you can see, we are having an error here. And the reason why we are having this error here is because if we inspect this and go to the console, here it says cannot read property of undefined map. And we are having this error in the item list component at line number four. So line number four is this. This means we are having an error in this line. And this error occurs because the map is not able to read this property. And the reason why it's not able to read this property is because of the same problem which we have in the instructions. So we all know that while loading the instructions, unless and until the is loading is set to false we cannot go ahead and load those instructions because the api takes a while to load those instructions so we cannot render these instructions even before they are loaded and that's the same thing which is happening over here as well that means first we actually have to wait for the is loading to kind of set to false and only after the is loading is set to false we could go ahead and display those ingredients so that means along with the food over here, I also need to pass in the is loading state as well as prop. So is loading is going to be is loading. Let's accept that here. So I would accept the is loading as prop here. And over here, inside this div, I would actually make a check if it's loading. If that's the case, then all right, I don't want to do anything, but I want to display a message in a paragraph called as loading. So I'll create a p tag and I would say loading. And if that's not the case, in that case, I want to render this. So here, let's copy the code which we have inside the curly brackets, cut it from here so that the curly bracket is empty. And I could paste that up over here, save this, and we should be good to go. So now if I go back here, now as you can see, everything works absolutely fine without any issues. And the app is working as before. Even if you hit refresh on this one, now you won't have any error. All right, this is all fine and good. But now the problem with this approach is that although we have kind of uh, split this into a different component, but we have not yet styled this component either. And the main reason for not doing that is because here we are doing two things. First of all, we are mapping through those items and then we are displaying those items over here as well. So one thing which could be done with this is that now we could create another component called as item itself and take all of this code which we have and place it inside that item component. So let's do that real quick. So inside components, I'll create a new component called as item.jsx export default function item. Let's make this thing return a div. And now what I wish to do is I wish to take the code which we have inside the item list, which is starting from this div. So I could take this entire div out of this, cut it from here. And I would say that, all right, I don't want to place it here, but instead I would place it in here. So if I save this, now this forms a component of its own. And now if I go to item list over here, I could simply use the item component. And for this item component to work, this item component needs item as an object. So we could pass that object here. So we have an item here. So I could pass in that item here saying item is equal to item. And now save this, go back here, accept the item, and we should be good to go. So if I again go back here, this again works absolutely fine.
Now, the advantage of actually splitting up this item into its very own component is that we could now go ahead and style up this item as we want. So in the next lecture, let's go ahead and let's style up this particular item component in a way in which we want by adding a CSS module and by adding some classes to it. So let's style this item component in the next one.